Well, hello. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Uh, that's better. Happy spring. Ooh, it's March. It's March. Madness. Okay, it's not really, but I'm back. I've been sick. I made another flower arrangement. I love these. I love dried fake flowers. They're just awesome. And the, the more beautiful stuff you can mix together, the better. You can get some filler from the Dollar Tree. Who am I looking at? There, I'm looking at there, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I am not prepared. I just wanted to come and say I tried something that I've never tried before. You can probably see I, did, I didn't do a great job, but I did these fake lashes. But they're the little... I got these. Uh, this idea from Confessions of a... Uh, uh, the Dollar Tree Attic. I was going to say something else. So. <laughs> but yeah, Demi Lash. They're like a half lash. Okay. I don't know why. I used to do my makeup much better. I don't know what's going on. Everything seems to like cake and crease and uh, maybe, maybe I should just throw my own makeup up because <laughs> it's old maybe. I don't know. Hello. Anyways, these are adorable. I got them off of Timu. Timu. Oh my God. So yeah, I, I've been through a ringer lately. Um, lost Luna, as I updated you. And then um, my other dog, Nova, who my ex was raising on in his house. So we were like splitting our dogs, but we both love both of our dogs with all our hearts. And right, like within a week, she went downhill. She was 10 years old almost. Or no, she was 10 years old. She was a little bit older than Luna, believe it or not. And uh, she she looked great right up till that last week, and then she was gone. We like she had cancer, and I think she had the same thing that Luna had. And it it just, when you see them and they're so peppy and happy, and she was my fur baby, and I loved her so fucking much. And she was in a cage for a year, like the whole time she was growing up, she was in a cage. She was um, 23, say, or 22 hours out of 24 hours every day, she would be in the cage. She ate her own poop. Like, poor Luna, she had such the origin story, this girl. I loved her very much. She was so beautiful. She was so fucking hairy. I miss her hair, though. I vacuumed them. I'm like, oh, my God. What the, what the hell's going on here? What the hell? Uh, I vacuum. There's no hair. But... I have a new puppy, as I, I'm sure I updated you about that, because she's just so cute. I don't think I did a great job on these, but I, I love the effect on you. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Very sexy. And I have to, I don't have to have a filter. I don't usually use them. I usually use them for gagging around, but, like, I wouldn't use a filter for a regular video, because I think it's, like, cheating. So you gotta, like, do, 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 you know, do yourself up a teensy bit. Right. Hello. Oh, yes, I didn't take my hair down. Okay, so, <laughs> so, I'm a Canadian, and I wanted to ask everybody, what do you think about fucking Trudeau? My God, Maron. I just can't with this guy. He just keeps screwing our civil rights, our freedoms, our freedoms of speech, freedom to uh, surf on the net and see what we want, find actual content from wherever we want. It's like it just has, I guess it pays to just get a, a Nord VPN or whatever, a VPN of some sorts, because who the fuck do they think they are tracking us? Oh my god. Like with our spending and stuff. And I just saw this thing, and I want this is why I want to make a video. This thing about um, financial regulation corporation or something like that. I really should get my shit together before I do my videos but it's something new and it's from the government of Canada and to me it just seems like big brother getting into your bank account and I got no fucking need for that none at all I, I think that's invasion of privacy to the utmost degree what do you guys think I think it's just a shitty thing to do he's just a shitty guy he's just a shitty leader shit shitty shit shit Woo, woo. <laughs> he's such a douchebag oh okay i gotta be good i gotta be good maybe i'll blur that out any anyways but he's just making all these decisions oh sorry i'm trying to cross my leg i'm on a new chair because my other one broke am i big and fat probably maybe that's what happened the back blew out on it <laughs> i guess i was i was sick cross-legged in it right and then it kind of i guess broke because i wasn't taking care of it okay sorry my camera's kind of oh, i have a little tripod well not a tripod it's like a holder for it every now and then it unloosens and you'll, it'll slide just ever so slightly but anywho so yeah i also i wanted to talk about um what was it what was the other thing 
Um, universal basic income. That was another thing. What, what, what exactly is that going to do too? Like, I think, I think my, my worry and my concern is that he's taking our rights away and that they're giving the government much more rights to oversee our money in any which way they desire. It also sounds so reminiscent of the social credit system in, in uh, China. Like if you jaywalk in China, they just rid your face and they deduct the fucking charge from your bank account. There you go, lickety split, right? Are you kidding me? I don't want that anywhere near Canada. He's ruining Canada. All of these things are little teeny weeny steps to get everybody used to being put into a box. I don't want a fucking 15 minute city. I don't want fucking electric cars everywhere. We can't sustain it. That was the thing. We can't sustain the electric grid for all these electric cars. They can't ban carbon or what do you call it? Uh, yeah, fossil fuels because people need it to heat their homes. And yes, that's damaging, but no, you know, you big companies like the Exxon Valdez and, and you know, like play, people that actually dump shit into our oceans and are killing our wildlife and our orcas. We had 90 and now we're at 73 orcas on the whole fucking world. That's it. Killer whales. They're like declining. I mean, it, and and then we kept them in, in like pens and went and took pictures of them and stuff. Like we can't keep animals like that in cages. Just, it, just I have so many issues I hate. Like there's so many things going on in the world like and, and the, uh, the dog festival in I won't say it because I'll mess it up. But it's, I think, in Jing, Jingjiang. I'm not sure. But it's it's in a province, um, and it's a, it's an anticipated thing they do every year. They get dogs from everywhere, you know, nice ones. And I think they call it the golden dog in English is what they call that. But it's an eating dog festival where they cut the limbs off of a dog after they tape their mouth up, of course, so that the dog doesn't bite their fucking hand. They hack the limbs off one by one, strip it, skin it, or skin it alive and leave it laying there like they do with the ducks in the windows. I don't know why, but I, and I know that people are not given enough protein or meat sources there. So like it's, you know, it's, it's such a hard thing, but to me, it, it, it's obvious that you cannot eat ducks. They're just, they're just such lovely I can't imagine that. If I saw a dog in that situation, I would just bawl. I would lose my shit. But there, you know, that's coming. Um, there's things that we will be not privy to because we're Canadian and we might not have the access to that via our internet because of Trudeau. And I just, <clears throat> I hate that. And I hate losing pets and, and uh, I don't know. I, just, I don't want social credit system. I think that if we um, have the digital dollar, it'll just be one more way for the government to keep their little fingers into your business, your accounts, your money. Who the fuck are they to tell me I can't live in the country if I ever won the lottery or something and I wanted to go build a house in the country, get a horse, do whatever the fuck I want? I would. If I could, I would. And get another dog or two. I love dogs. I love cats. I mean, I'm a, I'm an animal person. I love them, but I mean, you have to protect them too. But you know, like, I, it just seems to me like if you got that chance in Canada and other countries, actually globally, it just seems like they're trying to clamp down on us in society and bunch us all together. And as my mom says, don't throw a grenade, you know, in, in the bunch of we're all wiped out. I messed that joke up, but. She, you know, don't throw a grenade in a crowd because we'll be all wiped out. That's basically what they're doing with our society, our rights, all of it. They're just like, they'll let, they'll let people that shouldn't be protesting, like rioting protesting, you know, um, violent protesting, they'll allow that, but they won't allow, you know, like Jewish people to wear the Star of David. I saw this thing on YouTube. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? He's, he's saying for his own protection, cover your Star of David because there's so many Palestinian supporters. That was just like, that's bullshit. He can be who he is. They can be who they are. I support Israel, but I also support the, you know, the people in Gaza too. Like I don't want anybody to suffer anywhere. And so I'm not, I guess I'm not on a specific, I said I, I support Israel because of what happened in October on, on the uh, 7th of October, the massacre, the, the rapes and the death was just unreal. And, you know, stuff like that happening in our world is just awful. And I wanted to say, what do you guys think? Please give me some comments. Uh, like and subscribe. I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.